Hi, my name is Diana Hernandez Garcia. I'm 17 years old and I'm the 2018 Youth of the Year for the Excelsior Clubhouse. I've been a member of the Excelsior Clubhouse for four years. The program that has impacted me the most would be the Teen Center because it helped me a lot through career exposure, college tours, and tutoring, which helped me a lot since I didn't have much help back home. The staff that has impacted me most in my life would be Brianna and Earl because they would check up on me every single day and they've been through everything I've been going through for Youth of the Year. After high school, I plan to go to a four-year university. I'm planning on doing nursing or being an immigration lawyer. My vision for my future is to help people of color because I know they've been through a lot. Let's flash back to my first day at the club. I was 13. As I walked in, doubts came across my mind. What if they don't like me? Is it too late to turn around? Should I go home? In middle school, my older sister worked at the clubhouse and would bring me along. Four years later, the building was the same, but the people were all different. I was in a familiar place, feeling unfamiliar. My name is Diana Hernandez Garcia. I am the 2018 Excelsior Clubhouse Youth of the Year. A few months went by, and I still stayed away from the spotlight. But as a volunteer at the club, my job was to help others. Supervising the front desk, I was able to practice and improve my communication skills and build relationships with parents, peers, and youth. The staff and its members were very welcoming, which allowed me to help me open up to others and step out of my comfort zone. At the club, I enjoyed interacting with the kids, tutoring them, and hearing their crazy stories. I never felt out of place. It was obvious to everyone that I was committed to a clubhouse, but Earl DeClette, the high school services director, saw more. Earl motivates me to take risks and inspires me to be a successful young woman. He values my education so much he was willing to pay for my SAT class out of his own pocket. Without Earl's guidance and advice, I wouldn't have pushed myself to my fullest potential. He saw me as a role model, natural leader, and recommended that I join Keystone. Growing up in San Francisco, I was aware of homelessness, but didn't know how to help. When people here don't have money, every day is a struggle. With Keystone, I had the opportunity to feed the homeless. Every first Saturday of the month, we gathered downtown to prepare meals. Would you like some food? Have a great day. As I packed a thousand bag lunches, I was making a difference. I was giving back to those in need. Helping the less fortunate makes me appreciate the home I have. With the skills I developed at the club, I became more involved in activity at, at school. And for the past three years, I've been a part of Latinos Unidos, a, Latino, a group that celebrates Latino culture through school activities and dance. Together, we talk about issues affecting the Latino community and how we can make a difference. Here, I can be proud of my Mexican heritage. Let's flash forward. After four years at the club, here I am today, in front of all of you, more confident than ever. Because of my experiences at the club, the, the unfamiliar no longer scares me. With hopes and dreams to serve my people, I dive in the unknown and believe in my will to succeed. Thank you.